Please be seated. As Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the University, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the ceremony for the School of Law, Criminology and Political Science. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my immediate left, Miss Grace Oniwu, OBE, who will be receiving an honorary degree for a Doctor of Laws, and on my far left, Mrs. Geraldine Ward, our Dean of Students. On my right is Mrs. Penny Carey, Dean of the School of Law, Criminology and Political Science. And at the table to my right is our exceptional Secretary and Registrar, Mrs. Sue Grant of the University, who carries the University Mace. May I also welcome our graduates, their relatives and friends to this afternoon's ceremony. Just before I begin, I'd like to just make a few comments to our graduates who are going to be coming across the stage today. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your significant achievement. We recognise what an important moment this is, not only to you, but also to your friends, your family and your relatives. But can I just say to you, this moment does not come back. I'd encourage you to try and relax and savour every moment as you come across the stage. I really hope that you're able to enjoy this afternoon's ceremony as much as we will do. May I now ask to, for Mrs Penny Carey to read the citation for the conferment of an honorary degree of Doctor of Laws on Mrs Grace Oniwu. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to read the citation for the presentation of the honorary award of Doctor of Laws on Miss Grace Anoniwu. It's amazing how a seemingly small event can have a massive impact on someone's life, isn't it? When eight-year-old Grace Anoniwu's father received a speeding ticket, her response was, don't worry, Daddy. When I get older, I will be your lawyer. At that moment, she set herself a target. She was going to become a lawyer. Notwithstanding a few setbacks on the way, Grace has not only realized her dream, but has achieved more than she ever thought would be possible. Yet there was a time when it looked very unlikely that Grace would achieve her ambition. As a teenager, she was told by a teacher at a careers fair that she wouldn't be able to be a lawyer. Have you considered being a legal secretary? The teacher asked. Grace says, I was given a hundred reasons why I couldn't do what I wanted to do and not one why I could. So she rebelled and she failed all her O-levels. She continues, what I remembered feeling was that I did not like how failure made me feel. So I never failed at anything again. Grace refocused and second time around, she flew through her exams and secured a place with Hatful Polytechnic to study social sciences. She graduated in 1988 and enrolled at the College of Law to commence the professional stage of training to become a solicitor. But she soon discovered that she didn't fit the mold for the British legal system. When you look at the legal profession, it is very traditional, she says. Her difficulties were compounded when she sent out 70 applications to become a trainee solicitor and received just one reply. But she focused on that one positive response, went for the job and got it. 
So Grace started her career as a defense solicitor with a private firm in High Wycombe, fulfilling her eight-year-old self's dream, although I'm sure her father had sorted out his speeding ticket before then. She was advised by her supervisor following qualification to join the Crown Prosecution Service for a short time to learn how prosecution worked and then to return to the private firm. However, at the CPS, she had found her niche and she never went back. As a prosecutor, Grace says she felt she could help everybody, particularly vulnerable victims and witnesses. Grace's ability, commitment, and potential was recognized, and she held a number of roles within the CPS before being appointed Chief Crown Prosecutor for Northamptonshire in 2005. She was the first Afro-Caribbean to hold the role of Chief Crown Prosecutor and the first woman to hold the position in Northamptonshire, the East of England, and the West Midlands region, this latter being the post she has held for the last three years. Grace has made a significant contribution to the CPS equality and diversity agenda and is a former chair of the National Black Crown Prosecution Association. She is a keen mentor to young people wanting to enter the legal profession, including providing informal mentoring to one of our students from the university. Grace was an awarded an OBE in 2008 for her services as Chief Crown Prosecutor in Northamptonshire and for her contribution to equality and diversity in her role with the National Black Crown Prosecution Association. And she received a recognition award by Women for Africa in May 2015. Both thoroughly deserved, I'm sure you will agree. The university is very proud of this alumnus. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, in recognition of outstanding achievement, I ask that you confer the honorary award of Doctor of Laws upon Miss Grace Anonewu. I now call upon Dr. Grace Anonuwu to address the Assembly. Grace. Well, good afternoon, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. This feels better than winning an Oscar. <laughs> It truly is an honor and privilege to be here today to receive this honorary award uh, in recognition for doing the things that I feel most passionate about. As the Chief Crown Prosecutor for the West Midlands region, leading what is now the largest CPS region in the country, working really hard to protect the public particularly victims of crime, and making a contribution to the future of the legal profession. All those things give me a strong sense of purpose. When I was a little girl, my parents told me that I could be anything that I wanted to be. Education is the key but doing just enough is never good enough. And they were right. So over 30 years ago, I arrived at what was then the Hatfield Polytechnic. And it was there that my professional journey started. 
It was there where those professional foundations were set. So I somehow feel as if I've come full circle and to be given the recognition at a place where it all started is truly, truly very special to me. So I'd like to thank the university. I'd like to thank my family for all of their love and support. Mummy, it warms me that you are here today. To my daughter, Nicole, who is due to start university in a few days' time, you make me incredibly proud every day. But of course, today is really about you, the graduates, class of 2017. Many, many congratulations to you all. As fairly shortly, you will be receiving the accolade for all of your hard work and your achievements. And you should be so very proud. So lots of smiles when you come up here to pick up your certificates. I remember sitting where you are all those years ago, wondering what the future would bring. And I say to you, you are that future. So be brave, be courageous, as success only comes to those who are brave enough to try. Do great things. Make the rest of your professional journey count. Because doing just enough can never be good enough for the class of 2017. Thank you. We shall now receive the graduates of the School of Law, Criminology and Political Science. Graduates are presented by a member of academic staff from their school or department. I first call upon Dr. Barbara Henry. School of Law, Bachelor of Laws degree. Umi Abdirahman. <clears throat> Dayo Mukhtar Abdul Rahim. <clears throat> Alwasayun Amanat Adabisi. Michael Adafemi. <laughs> Brandilyn Sapora Ajay Forson. <laughs> Aisha Ahmad. Hadiza Gulak Ahmad. <laughs> Shakina Shanaz Binti Ahmed Shazami. <laughs> With first class honors, Safa Zanit Ahmed. Benjamin Akinyemi Akinkube. <laughs> Oluwaseyun Moses Akintunde. <laughs> 
Ramya Akhtar. With first class honours, Nadia Akhtar Mia. Lagali <clears throat> Al Ghali. Aisha Farina Ali. Leila Ali. With first class honours, Lauren Aliou. Kirat Al Jabouri. Rosaline Debra Alphonse. Sarah Al Wiley. With first class honours, Taranjeet S. Sandhu Amarjeet Singh. With first class honours, Amelia Amini. Angela Nemo Bernice Amka. Valentine Andre <laughs> William Egbe Udaga Angwa <laughs> Oasis Anjum <laughs> Ardra Pillai Rafat Oluwa Feokhemi Abiodum Awalope. Maria Hamna Ayub. Mariam Abbas Bafo. Veravan Bacheji <laughs> Senna Cor Beans <laughs> Amawunmi Antonia Bakare. Mara Bakhtari. <laughs> With first class honours, Rio Jade Baldwin. <laughs> Anisha Banapal. Alexander Bartlett. (Applause) 
Shakira Laura Marie Bembridge. <laughs> Winner of the Keith Murray Rutherford Memorial Prize, Robin Burzan. Karen Bogal. <laughs> Melinda Beer. <laughs> With first class honours, Tinotenda Barbara Bope. Fiza Ashgar Buka. With first class honours, Brooke Camp. Shannon Taylor Lee Campbell. Gagandeep Kaur Chauhan. <laughs> Nicole K. Chi. <laughs> Timothy Tafadswa Chiangwa. <laughs> Patience Ruoma Chinda. <laughs> Sitare Chitsaz Dasgurdi. <laughs> With first class honours, Chong Ang Yi. Chue Jia Ying. <laughs> Winner of a University Prize, Claire Chalk Man. <laughs> Laura Jean Clark. With first class honours, Lucy Charlotte Clothier. <laughs> Dylan Cosell. <laughs> With first class honours, Olivia Alexandra Francis Kofi. Jessica Coot. <laughs> Samudu Sunjuani Dilawate Apulhamalaj Donna. <laughs> Salma Numam Bara Dambata. Salvin Nathaniel Das. <laughs> With first class honours, Molly Louise Davis. <laughs> With 
with first class honours Agnès O'Day Jocko Ying Chen. With first class honours Robofazo Louise Dubé. Charlotte Ann May Eldon. Marjan Faday. With first class honours, Tina Faraji. Callum Kevin Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Vanessa Ogale Foma. <laughs> Thavithra Gandon. Bronke Badamasi. <laughs> With first class honours, Sophie Ghent. <laughs> Ifra George. Harina Kaur Gill. <laughs> Kiran Goswami. <laughs> With first class honours, Natalie Nadal Haddad. Chloe Anna Hayden. <laughs> Mansour Hakimyar. <laughs> With first class honours, Samantha Anita Harmer. Bethany Hatton. <laughs> Karina Hare. <laughs> With first class honours, Christina Ann Hodgson. Liam Anand Hogan. <laughs> Ruth Theory Hormans. <laughs> Shannon Kelly Howells. Maddie Ibrahim. <laughs> With first class honours, Favour, Oluwatobi Elori. <laughs> Kirat Iqbal.
Aleha Monique Ocampo Essip. Sahika Gabrin. Megan Kim Jackson. Fiona Kiki Yakovo. Fareshta Jafari. With first class honours, Gemma Delise James. Sayram Jameson. <laughs> Mohammed Nabil Jamil. <laughs> Victoria Jenkins. Oluwaduni Campson. <laughs> Melissa Caracas. <laughs> With first class honours, Hussein Karamzada. Karishma Siddhi Karpal. <laughs> Sophie Katasi. <laughs> Kiran Preet Kaur. Ayobami Oluwatosin Kayode. <laughs> Yazra Khalid. <laughs> Muhammad Waliar Rahman Khan. Mohammed Wasik Khan. <laughs> Susan Haroon. <laughs> Kishuwaran S. Thangaswaran. With first class honours, Anisha Kira Balasing. <laughs> Jordan Cluth. <laughs> Asher Oyantari Kojo Soro. Janet Lang. <laughs> Maremi Nicola Lampejo.
Lai Ming Lo. Ka Ching Li. With first class honors, Sheng Li. <laughs> Hannah Leah Little. <laughs> Loke Te Wang. Poria Lofty. With first class honors, Linda Joseph Limo. Paria Mahe. Ali Abdullah Malik. <laughs> Ade Janet Jamil Malins. <laughs> Vel Mayel Maroran. Monturayo Oluwo. Annette Marcos. Lucy Markham. With first class honors, Talanta Bridget Mayoro. <laughs> Tanaka Grace Matope. <laughs> Mayori G. Penny Shelvam. Lauren Victoria Mers. Aroch Miran. Bilal Nassam Maha Muhammad. Tariq Muhammad Moja, Mojadadi. <laughs> Layla Maria Morgan. <laughs> Dennis Mullings. Rabab Mustafa. <laughs> Narash Veer Ramachandran. <laughs> Nelam Nawaz.
with first class honors, Anthony Zichindulo. Ogechuku Blessing Neba. Zen Shong Gi. Wawerung Gi. Vimbia Laura Namunsu. Jamie Danny Nicolades. <laughs> Alistair Brenda Norman. <laughs> Janet Ngosu Imo. Kelia Sylvia O'Donnell. <laughs> Onyinye Stephanie Obi. <laughs> Olumayowa Olumide Odeleye. Cecilia Abodea Ofekwe. <laughs> Oshan Victoria Oga. <laughs> Babatope Olatomiwa Ogini. With first class honors, Fola Folua Mary Ogini. <laughs> Edward Ogunlana. With first class honors, for Milayo Ogunleye. <laughs> Tunde Ogunro. Mary Titilayo Oguntusin. Monterayo Oluo. Neka Chimaka Miriam Oma. With first class honors, Andrea Short Ling Ong. <laughs> With first class honors, Carissa Galani Owens.
Omo wo nyola owo ye. Joyaba Adepojo Aaron Gills Oyekan. Maria Pantile. Roshni Patel. Leia Pashavaria. Fusevine. Zuliano Pico. Sonil Se Potiwa. Ryan Pound. Teleyefa Prio. Ewelina Zewonizuk. Paspuvantina Teagarajan. Nelema Rahman. Kiran Raput. Chitranjana Ramdewa. Hassan Ratho. With first class honors, Tengi Rain. Stena Ram. Miriam Radha. Abigail Roberts. Mary Kazam Rostam. Jerry Franklin Rubakaran. Okne Rosinsket. Annie Sahakan. Simran Saini. Sadia Salam. (laughs) 
Diana Sandru. With first class honors, Ahmed Danbelo Seni. Padmeshwari Samuganathan. <laughs> Vanessa Sapo. <laughs> Saranya Selvan. Sadiq Ahmed Sahat. <laughs> Numra Shahzadi. <laughs> With first class honors, Shabnam Shakiran. <laughs> Asif Chaudhry Shorap. <laughs> With first class honors, Esma Selfiki. <laughs> Polly Rose Silva Gillestone. Veswa Soraya Sylvester. <laughs> Esperanca Whitney Simoy. <laughs> Michaela Siska. Danielle Smith Turner. <laughs> Diana Solito. <laughs> Simran Srinivasan. Loxna Srikanda Srikanda Mohan. <laughs> Kainer Stewart. <laughs> Ami Sobhani. Shanti Soraya Kuma. <laughs> Olga Swetochowska. <laughs> Muhammad Hussein Ta Muhammad. Mawa Tawufi. <laughs> Shane Taylor. <laughs> 
Vanessa Anna Telega. With first class honors and winner of the Judges Prize and winner of the Longman Law Prize, Shane Alicia Thomas. <laughs> Henrietta To. Mark Tran. Mean to row. With first class honors, Alicia Maria Vogan. Anila Veseli. <laughs> Boshini Vish Vishwaligam. <laughs> Alec Atu Wak. With first class honors, Abby Christiana Rea Westo Child. With first class honors, Abigail Watson. Laura Jade Webster. Magdalena Anna Witoko. Young Shen Yap. Sekan Yadim. <laughs> Yogas Warajan Ramasami. <laughs> Zelak Zarup. Bachelor of Laws degree with a year abroad with first class honours, Judith Bahati. Anna Rudo Cize. With first class honors, Roshani Suman. <laughs> Bachelor of Laws degree in Commercial Law, Hanin H.J.M. H. Al Shamali. Lorraine Chama Chimezi. With first class honors, Thomas James Clark.
Merhazad Ferozi Contractor. Omar Elaris. With first class honors, Ida Filipovic. Gulam Ali Hassan. Nikki Yoanu. Kiranpreet Johal. Leone Luizel Leo. Queenie Maduako. Chipo Mary Machinia. Ebenezer Adai Mensa. Sumit Pama. William Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> Bachelor of Laws degree in Government and Politics, Pollyanna Cox. <laughs> Harman Kang. Zolt Kultsa. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Abdullahi Muhammad. <laughs> Rafay Rana. Rukan Sanchak. Sarah Ahmed Sharif. The following award was achieved having followed an approved program of study under the Credit Accumulation and Transfer Scheme. Bachelor of Arts degree in Studies in Law with a Year Abroad, Robert Jonathan Brunt. It is now my pleasure to call upon Fola Foley Odiini to uh, present on behalf of the students. Good afternoon, Deputy Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen. It is an absolute honor and privilege to be representing my fellow graduates today, a day that marks the crowning of all our efforts and struggles. 
Yes, it has been a long road with many tears shed, many sleepless nights, sighs of frustration, and many hands thrown up in resignation when people lost their 2,000 word pieces of coursework. But beyond that, it has been a journey of discovery with many achievements, celebration whenever our grades were better than expected, which sometimes were very few and far between, and really learning to create a support system for and to one another. It has been a delight pulling together through the tough times, and nerdy as this sounds, some of my best friends were made in the library. And yes, class of 2017, we made it. As an individual, my experience at the University of Hertfordshire has definitely been one of the most interesting of my life. It's been full of a diverse range of experiences, like a 17-hour shift at the airport welcoming international students to the UK and the University of Hertfordshire, to organizing the first ever diversity event in the law school, alongside some amazing student and staff planning committee members. And now I speak for all of us when I say we have gained more than just an academic qualification. A lot of us got to travel the world and experience different cultures. The less adventurous ones like myself got involved in extracurricular activities that have greatly complemented our skill set and make us desirable to any employer. At the beginning of this degree, I know we all had our doubts and concerns, but we made our decisions and we went through with it. Even when the going got tough, we pushed, we fought, and we prayed our way through. And look where we are today. I couldn't be... <laughs> I couldn't be proud of what we've achieved as individuals and as a class. Class of 2017, what really distinguishes us out there is that passion to make a change. So as we move on from here today, there are a million and one problems in our world today. It is up to us to go out there with all that we have learned here, identify the problems we would like to solve and be part of the change that we desire to see. We have been immersed in a business-facing education ethos that should equip us for the challenges of whatever sector we go into. Therefore, guys, be hungry for success, for growth, and for continued learning. Our class is blessed with all sorts of talents that we were privileged to see on display at the less celebrated event, and, and even more. So I'm confident that I will be seeing a lot of us in some very high positions soon. Look to your left and to your right. Some of us are seeing each other physically for the very last time, depending on where life takes us. Exchange numbers, take photos, celebrate with each other, and let us be a strong network of support for each other, cheering each other on as we achieve greatness. And for those of you who are still unsure, even at this point, what you want to do after university, don't fret. Just have the courage to follow your dreams, whether it entails a practice of law or not. You have been given all the tools that you need to take on life and its challenges. If you got through a law degree, you can get through anything. Whatever you do, guys, just be amazing. There are lives just waiting to be transformed by you. Your words, your actions, your writings, your musings, your smiles, and your selflessness. Remember that all the hours spent questioning, doubting, and fearing can be given over to working, exploring, and living. You can either be a passive victim of circumstance or you can be the active hero of your own life. And if we learn nothing else, I believe that coursework deadlines taught us that time is the most amazing resource that we have been blessed with. And it's all up to us to use it as judiciously as we can towards achieving our dreams. On behalf of every graduate here tonight, I render our unreserved gratitude to our amazing support system who have pushed us this far. And speaking of support systems, I really can't but pause to say a big thank you to my dad, who unfortunately was deprived of the opportunity of witnessing this occasion by the Visa Decision Making Centre, who have held this application for two months. Um, perhaps like Mrs. Ononi Wu, I shall take it on and go into immigration law and fight his cause. Um, <laughs> to our amazing lecturers, administrators, staff, family and loved ones, friends and supporters, thank you so much for continually being there for us and believing in us and encouraging us and investing their time and resources in us.
we, co we couldn't have done it without you. Your contribution to our success stories will not be forgotten. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, at this point, I'd also like to congratulate Dr. Grace Anonui on receiving the award of Honorary Doctorate. This is such a significant achievement that I, and I'm sure all my colleagues, aspire to. Um, you really are an inspiration. Thank you for everyone. For, thank you to everyone for coming to celebrate with us. And huge congratulations, class of 2017. <laughs> um, finally, I would like to thank the Deputy Vice Chancellor for receiving the 2017 graduates of the School of Law, Criminology and Political Science. Thank you. Fola, thank you. Thank you for your fantastic presentation and thank you for the way you conveyed your passion for the, your subject area and everything that has gone on during your time here. You're an absolute credit to your fellow graduates. Thank you very much. It's not actually easy to stand up here and, and deliver a speech. And given what Foler said and also what Graves, Grace said earlier on, both which were inspirational talks, it's even more difficult for me to find some sensible words, uh, particularly, as you've said, most of what I wanted to say. So uh, thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Great. Anyway, uh, we're almost at the end of today's ceremony and I'm sure you're looking forward to meeting up with your friends and families for ce celebrations. However, there are a few things that I would like to say before we finish. Firstly, on behalf of the university, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all our graduates. You should be extremely proud of your achievement. Secondly, it is an absolute pleasure for me to meet each of the people who are graduating as they come across the stage. It's heartfelt, I know it's only a couple of moments, but for me to see the journeys that many of our students have gone on to complete successfully their degrees is a true privilege for me. So thank you, graduates. And thirdly, it absolutely astonishes me the range of shoes that come across the stage <laughs> at this time of year. There are many occasions as people are coming across towards me where I'm thinking, am I going to have to dive in and save the person? <laughs> but once again, we seem to have got away with it without any accidents. So and I'm just talking about the guys. <laughs> I'd like to take a few moments for, to make a few more observations. Of course, our graduates will have picked up a mass of skills and knowledge as they've gone through their courses. But you will know we're a business-facing university, and so we interact very carefully with our employers, and they consistently tell us they're looking for certain characteristics. And those characteristics that they tell us are these. They're looking for graduates who will work hard and go the extra mile. They're also looking for graduates who will comp solve problems. And in addition to that, they're looking for people who can collaborate with each other and have great interpersonal skills. What I'm sure of, having been in the School of Law, Criminology and Political Science, is there is no doubt in my mind that you will have picked up those attributes. And from my own perspective, if you have, if you use the skills that you've picked up on your course, if you work hard, you solve problems, you collaborate with others, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that you will be successful. My other observations come from a very personal perspective. Over the years, I've done a, an amount of research that looks into the sexful, successful characteristics of sports people and business people. And there are four characteristics that come through on a regular basis that are of importance. 
And what I found is it's been important as I've gone through my career to reflect on these attributes. And these are they, in no particular order. Firstly, self-belief. The belief you can achieve whatever you want and having the drive and determination to achieve whatever goals that you want to achieve. And I think grace exemplifies that. Secondly, motivation. And I'm not talking about external motivation. I'm talking about that motivation that comes from within to achieve your goal. Thirdly, focus. Focusing on the right things at the right times and not getting distracted. And fourthly, but by no means least, the ability to handle pressure and remain calm in all situations. And possibly more importantly than that, is the ability to bounce back from setbacks because it is undoubtedly the case that throughout your life you will get setbacks, but you need to bounce back from those setbacks in a positive way. I've personally found reflecting on those things on a regular basis has been really important to, you, to me, and I hope there may be something in you reflecting on those things as you go forward on your careers, on your journey. Just before I finish, I'd like to turn to the people directly in front of me. And Fola made mention for this. What I know is you wouldn't be sitting where you are if it wasn't for the support of many others, whether it be friends or family or relatives. What I know, you couldn't have done it on your own. Graduates, I would like to for you to show your appreciation of the contribution of others to you achieving what you've achieved today. Please put your hands together. What I notice are many friends and family are clapping themselves, and that's absolutely fine. I completely <laughs> applaud that. It's fine. There is one other group that I would like to refer to, and that's the people who are sitting directly behind me, the staff of the university, the staff of the School of Law, Criminology and Political Science. What I know is they have had your education and your development in their minds the whole time, trying to give you the best opportunities possible. And there may well be people behind me who you relate to very easily because of everything that they have done for you. I know without their commitment, without their passion, without their skills and strengths, once again, you would not have been here today. I would like you to show your appreciation for their contribution to your achievements, to the staff. <laughs> Finally, as Fola said again, I hope that you will become a strong network. I really hope that you will be, that you are an alumni of the University of Hertfordshire, and I want you to stay in touch with us. The only way we grow and get better is by input from people who leave and then play back in. We really hope that you do stay in touch with us. Once again, on behalf of the university, many congratulations on your achievement, and I wish you every success in your future careers. That concludes the formal part of the proceedings. May I remind you that refreshments await you in the Alban Arena. Please can I ask you to stand while the academic procession leaves the Abbey. Thank you very much. <laughs>